Hi, I'm Sophie from Math with Sophie. Welcome to the first video, the first key skill in my series on indices. Before we start, you should be really familiar with all of your square numbers and a lot of your cube numbers. Otherwise, you might run into some trouble here. So, for example, you should know that 5 squared is 25, 5 cubed is 125. So, with that example in mind, remember that 5 squared is 25, 5 cubed is 125. Uh, we're going to get started. The first key skill we're going to look at is if you have, as a power, a fraction. So, for example, here we're going to have something like 1 over 3. You need to remember that there's two numbers. The top number is going to be the power and the bottom number is going to be the root. So the way I like to remember this is the root, like the roots of a tree is there in the ground. So the bottom number is always the root and the top number is the power. So if I've got 125 to the power of a third, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bracket Inside my brackets, I'm going to have the root. So I've got 125 to the power of 1 over 3. I've set up a bracket. Inside, I've got the cube root. So that's that 3 is there on the root. And outside, I've got the power 1. Now, the cube root of 125 is 5. And that's because 5 cubed is 125. So 5 times 5 wait, times 5 is equal to 125. So that means 5 cubed is equal to 125. But that also means that the cube root of 125 is equal to 5. So that's how you do inside the bracket. Now you take your answer from the root or the cube root and you raise it to the power. So 5 power 1 is just 5 because any number power 1 it's just itself. 7 power 1 is 7, 120 power 1 is 120. So anything power 1 is itself. Let's do a second example of that. Let's take 49 and we're going to have power 1 over 2, or power a half. So again, I'm going to have a bracket. I'm going to do my root first. So remember, the root is the bottom number, so it's the second root, or the square root of 49. And I'm going to put my power on the outside. Generally speaking, if you have a square root, you don't really write it anymore. You just see that written as with nothing there. But if you were to write a number there, it would actually be a 2. Now, the square root of 49 is 7 because 7 squared is 49. And now we have to do 7 power 1, which is just 7. So a couple of things to bear in mind. 7 squared is equal to 7 times 7, which is equal to 49. That means that the square root of 49 is equal to 7. However, you can also say that minus 7 squared is equal to minus 7 times by minus 7, which is equal to minus times minus is plus, plus 49. So the square root of 49 can be plus 7, but it can also be minus 7. So remember that with your square roots. So our answer for 49 to the power of a half is the square root of 49, which gives us two answers, plus or minus 7. Stick around, we're going to get a little bit more complicated in the next tutorial, Key Skill 2. Thanks for watching. The team at Maths with Sophie have made a free ebook to go with this video series. We've broken the topic down into small manageable sections. Each section has a video tutorial that you're already watching 
interactive questions and model solutions from exam questions. To claim your free ebook, you don't need to download anything, you don't need to sign up for anything. You simply click the link below and it will open in the web browser of your phone, tablet or computer. If you enjoy using our free ebooks, make sure you check out our website because we have other ebooks on different topics.